No make a candy no way where I lost your phone, my chin again, my candy. I want a gato mato Johnny and candy room. Mandan Abam, baby in the ditch, I am my chin again. You never can get to an opportunity get her. And you went to him. When I see only one in a chin again and kept rooming her name. Oh, no, Bonaniana Zopota. Oh, no, Bonania Bopuyan in the Vienna, amen. And you went out, says the Bobetan cousin. Now, not to donate Jamman, I'm so poor. Sit in a big, my own big. He said, he said, he said, Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. And remember, if you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia, or any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contribution. Please, each time you watch my video, go to the comment section and put down your comments. That is where we will learn from each other. Let's begin what's trending in Nigeria with reactions trailing the Anambra governorship election and several glitches that occurred on November 6th, which led the polls to be declared inconclusive. Over the weekend, reports of vote buying and ballot box snatching circulated online. A supervisory presiding officer on Sunday was reported to have carted away 41 results sheets in the Indemili South local government area of the state, while a video that captured some women rejecting money allegedly given to them to vote for a political party went viral. Let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. <laughs> Well, I wasn't shocked when I saw this video. If you recall, on Friday, we did another video with another political party, which, you know, appeared to be the PDP, doing the same exact thing thing. But, you know, when I read that the APC was accusing um, the current governor of massive rip rigging of the election, would put uh, Soludo right now in the lead, I was like appalled, you know, juxtaposing it with this video to Ndwa Biola. Double standard there. Everybody, <laughs> this is the thing with the constant yeah. finger pointing that goes on around here. This, I thought, was actually really inspiring for me the people rejecting the money because they received wisdom. Mm -hmm. If you're offered money, accept it, but then vote according to your conscience. They actually told them, take your money and shove it. That is how convicted they are, that this is not the right course for them. Obviously, some people did vote for APC, but it's just really good to see that money can't buy everything in this country anymore. But this is just, you know... Vote buying continues to rear its ugly head in our political system. Every single election, those allegations are there. And it's an electoral offense. So I think until an example is made of people, like with stern jail time, it's going to continue. No, well, I don't know what type of uh, jail term. I mean, look at the presiding supervising officer who took that ballot box away. I mean, what is happening here, uh, Rufai? I mean, it's sad. But, you know, the problem with Nigeria is the fact that we see these things. We set up committees to solve those problems. The committees will do reports. We wouldn't take the reports. We wouldn't take the recommendations of those reports. We've had committees been set up to look into electoral malpractice. There was a waste report that came out. It was said that we should have an independent body that will look at cases like this, vote by and electoral offenses in general. Till date, everything is still lumped together with INEC. And INEC cannot do everything, can't, can't conduct elections in the first place, can't ensure that the BVAS works, and still ensure prosecution for electoral offenses. The report is sitting there gathering dust over the years. That report came out after the elections that brought President Umar Musa Aradu of blessed memories. And he came out to say the elections that brought me in were fraught with irregularities. The waste report was set on, nothing has been done. So we'll constantly see this. 
unless we fix the problems we have on ground. Yes, we can say vote buying and everything. But how about appropriate bodies to prosecute them? Are they adequate? Secondly, it goes to show that we are still transiting the, the process of political maturity. The fact that opinions and ideologies and projects and manifestos don't count. It is about people bribing people and electoral officers snatching ballot boxes and all sorts of claims and counterclaims like it happened in the Rumba North that is still heralding our politics and that's a big problem. Thirdly, it shows that INEC needs to go back and stop being bullish and take lessons. Because the same beavers that INEC came to in a sort of braggadocious manner says the solution to all our problems, we had challenges with beavers that day. I know those are teaching problems, but yes, in taking feedbacks, don't be braggadocious. Go back and see how we can you know, impact it. But most importantly, for me, the biggest winners are the Anambra people. I saw the resolve of the Igbo people to stand tall, even if the fact that there was a lot of voter apathy, people didn't come out to vote. I checked out the stats. <clears throat> for every polling unit, it was about 10 to 15% of the registered voters that came out to vote, and which is very sad. That's quite low. That shows you that a lot of people did not come out to vote. And that's why you're seeing the meager numbers. There, just one local government left. Soludo is leading with meager over 100,000 votes. The next person, over 50,000 votes. Those are very small numbers. So we should encourage more people to vote. But the fact that it was safe, secure, peaceful, I'm happy about that. I must congratulate India Nambra. India Nambra, Dr. Yes. Abati. Okay, first, politics in Nigeria is heavily monetized. Whether you are a candidate or you are involved at any particular level. Although there are rules on campaign finance, I don't think anybody observes that. After the 2020, uh, 2019 general election, INEC was, you know, uh, chasing political parties around the place to respect what the law says in terms of making returns with regard to campaign finance. Because the bulk of the money is spent, politicians will claim, you know, mobilizing the people, and you probably will not have receipts for that. But the example that we had in Anambra, whereby you had a group of women who refused to collect money, I think that that's an interesting development. I think it's the kind of development that we'd like to see in more places. But the only way you can get that can be for a number of reasons. One, if the people themselves have a stake in what is going on. If you go, for example, I guess, to Osofia, Isofia, that's uh, Charles Soludo's, uh, uh, you know, uh, territory, and you want to give his own uh, kinsmen, you know, his own uh, people uh, money, they are likely to say no. Perhaps if you go somewhere else, they probably will collect the money. But the pattern we'd like to see will be the people rejecting uh, monetary inducement for them to, to vote. You know, that way, if they re refuse it, then they can make an informed choice. They can exercise their right to vote in a free manner without anybody uh, trying to force them in any particular direction. Two, yes, the point about vote buying is an electoral offense, yes, and the laws are there. But recently we had Dr. Festo Sukoye, uh, who is uh, the director in charge of voter mobilization, education, and all of that. And he said, look, INEC does not have the capacity to enforce those laws. So who does that? And that is why I think that, you know, the point is relevant about setting up an electoral offenses commission tribunal, which was one of the outcomes of the Ways uh, Commission, and one of the many recommendations of persons in civil society. And the whole idea is that when persons are even apprehended, nobody f follows up. How many electoral offenders have you had uh, being sanctioned? Uh, every election we have these electoral offenses, but it's very rare for you to say so so number of persons have been sanctioned. Perhaps if there is a dedicated tribunal, uh, the will of justice would uh, move faster and uh, quite a number of persons uh, can be uh, taken to uh, task. Now, again, in Anambra, yes, the voter turnout was poor, but even the uh, few people that came out, we saw that determination to make a difference. And we're hoping that tomorrow, uh, when we have the supplementary polls in Iyala, that more people will come out. I haven't seen now that their initial fears about, uh, you know, violence and uh, insecurity uh, is something that has been uh, addressed uh, by the security agencies. And of course, the security agencies themselves should not drop the ball 
so that we don't have a situation whereby the supplementary pool now becomes a theater, an occasion, Absolutely. an avenue uh, for drilling whatever may have been achieved so far. Well said. Fight more, and there is no going back.